Hello friend, I'm Mormo and uh, I'm an artist and I thank you for watching my video and uh, I actually learned about art cards through some educational material that I bought licensing rights to and it was talking about buying art cards online and then turning around and selling them for a higher price and I thought well I'm pretty good at art so I could probably just make my own art cards to sell and now I have a good business selling these art cards and um, art flipping is basically it's the oldest principle in like capitalism it's buy low and sell high you buy art low and a lot of artists undervalue their art and a lot of artists who are just getting started are just trying to get sales to build a reputation for instance on eBay or Etsy they want to get feedback and they want to get reviews and uh, so they start off selling their art at a very good price and um, there's some very good art you can buy online and uh, and then I think the method that I want to try is buying online and then selling in person and finding places to sell in person and my goal with this video is to provide insights and strategies for successfully flipping art for profit and uh, so with this technique you would buy low and I've done this on eBay you can buy cards artist trading cards for like anywhere from one to three dollars and uh, and then just hold on to them or relist them at a much higher price and um, I think art is a really good investment I think like going to the movie theater is a terrible investment and I think that um, buying art is a really smart investment to the point of even like physical media and like movies as art and stuff I think it's smarter to buy physical media because it holds value and you can always flip it down the road if you need money. To me, investing in a physical item is a, like a physical piece of art is like a good investment and uh, you want to like it's really important that you identify profitable art and uh, you can research trends and market demands. So like right now would be a good time for Halloween art and I'm gonna start marketing my art as being like a really good Halloween gift or a uh, it's like a good Halloween item to display because it's September when I'm recording this and uh, you need to consider the artist's reputation and you can learn their backstory when you buy a piece of art the more of a story you can tell about the art like the more it'll sell for basically so if you can learn the background of the artist and like how long they've been doing art and their education and everything and any shows they've been in or like um, any contests they've won stuff like that you could pass that on to a future buyer as like part of the story behind the art piece and um, yeah you can find art at auction auctions 
galleries, online platforms, or estate sales, and you can even find art in flea markets, and you can go to goodwill.com and, and bid on art there. There's I've seen some awesome art for sale on goodwill.com. Um, you can buy art on eBay, you can buy art on Etsy. There's plenty of places to buy art online. And um, you can always negotiate with artists to get the best deals. Like I sell on eBay and you can always click make me an offer and offer me less money than what I'm asking. And most of the times I'll just take the money. So you uh, definitely want it pays to negotiate when you're buying art. And then the marketing and selling art, you can take photographs of the art and, uh, like I say, tell stories about the art. And um, you can, like, write sales copy for the art. And uh, you could list the art on um, Facebook Marketplace and or you could go to an art show like a or like a swap meet or something and sell your art and uh, you want to create an appealing portfolio of different art pieces and I'm gonna put a link to where my art is for sale in the description and also check out my make money with art playlist